FlexOnline.com. We're here with the one and only Mr. Kai Green. A.K.A. Mr. Guinea Gun with the one and only Jay Cutler. Let's not be dressed out in the East Coast Mecca. Yeah! So a couple warm-up sets. Let's add another play. So 15 reps on the warm-ups. I'm gonna shoot for about 12 reps on these on the heavier, heavier sets. So as we get heavier, you know, you really concentrate on the contraction. That's the thing, one thing about the pros is you can see the concentration on the chest. It's not just pushing the weights. You're gonna see him pause a lot in between each rep and really get the chest to really take over the weight. It's a lot of mind to muscle connection. What would you say is the best or most effective chest exercise? I would say the bench press, but I don't tend to do as much anymore. I use a Smith machine with basic bench press is still gonna build the chest the most. He's got an arch in his back, really contracting that chest. I mean, he's just playing with this weight right now. So all about this with the Smith machine, of course, with the bench press, it's about getting the bar in a comfortable spot where your body is gonna push with the chest the most. And everyone's gonna have a different variation of where their body sits under this bar. You know, Kai's in the middle of his chest, maybe in the little of the upper portion. Whereas I tend to sit on the bottom of the chest more with the bar. You know, everyone's always asking me, you know, is Kai gonna go back and do the Arnold Classic? He won two, you know, he's obviously been second at the Olympia. If you go to the Olympia this year, you win it. What's the scenario? You ever go back to the Arnold? What if you go back and you play second? You ever gonna go back to the Arnold Classic and compete or what? The fans ask that question. I mean, they want you back there. What do you think? Um, my focus has been on the Olympia. Yeah, that's how I was too. You know, I think my problem was I always started dieting too early. I think. Like I always lost, seem to lose a little muscle training for contests, but when you're as big as we are, you can sometimes spare a little loss to attain that extra conditioning. But I just hated the fact that everyone always said to me, like, you were best in this year, mm -hmm. just come like that again. Mm -hmm. and it's just, it's not that easy sometimes, man, you know? You're also a different body. You're well, like 70 pounds, 60 in. pounds bigger. Yeah. Alright, so we're trying to take advantage of uh, incline fly machine, which I don't even think exists anymore. Kai's never used this before, of course, this is his home gym. What I like about this is it takes the arms out. This really gives the chest a huge contraction. You keep the chest up, really keep that arch. You can see the arch in his back and uh, you know, blow it out at the top, really get that good squeeze in there. Now I can see your chest is still very complete with this development from the top to the bottom. Do you subscribe to the same thoughts about muscle shaping exercises versus mass no, building I, I movements? Think, I think so. I mean, I mean, you do a lot of unconventional exercise, like a lot of your stretching movements, I think a lot of your shape in your legs comes from a lot of your stretching and your squatting positions and, you know, it shows in your body, so yeah. I mean, what, what's, what's the average time you're in the gym each day? I know it's a sanctuary for you. Yeah, it's a, it's a sanctuary. Let's say two hours. Two hours two is hours. the minimum, right, usually two. for you? That's... I enjoy taking my time to warm up, my joints, my knees, my elbows. I really feel like I need to do that in an effort to, to allow me to do certain movements that I would do that are basic for my legs. I need to be able to warm up my hamstrings, um, even my calves, you know, to help improve range of motion. Oh, wow, that burned. I remember being a teenager sitting in the audience of the Team Masters in 94. And I remember seeing the biggest teenager I've ever seen in my life. Dude was on stage at like 240 pounds. His name is Jay Cutler. Yeah, but Branch Warren beat me. Figure that one out, right? <laughs> Sorry, Branch. On the team level, sometimes you can see so many people with amazing potential. And then you see them some years later, and not everybody capitalizes on that potential. I always tell everyone my success isn't from just being good at something and always winning or whatever. It's come from the failures in my life that have taught me a lot. My advices are off my failures, not off the success that I've had, honestly. After all the Sandow wins, the Arnold Classic victories, to be on this side of it now, the businessman, what's it like now to be in a gym and train? A lot less pressure. A lot less pressure, man. I still love to lift weights, but 
I do miss that crazy challenge, but I have other challenges now that keep my mind occupied. How do you deal with the loneliness when you were aspiring to be on top? You find that the hard way. I didn't mind it so much, you know. When you're trying to achieve something, you gotta be alone, you gotta be selfish sometimes, but remember, you gotta live your life too. And that's the thing, it's finding the balance. I love over the tricep extensions. I like them on the cable though. This angle is kind of difficult on my elbow joint. Yeah. The thing is, don't go too heavy. I mean, a lot of people say, oh, my joints, my elbow joints. Listen, don't do exercise that hurt, right? I mean, if something hurts, this usually means your body's resisting it. Don't do it. So I think that's that's gonna do it for me, man. I'm uh, I had a long day. I'm tired, and uh, that was a good. That's kind of how my workout. Wow. Started. So for FlexOnline.com, Mr. Kai Green, Jay Cutler, we are out.